Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. I'm going to have a mounting session. I, whether I film the actual mounting or not, I don't know. But I thought what might be nice is play is to play what's lurking in the pots before we mount. As I said, anything from a good root system to next to nothing, or maybe even nothing. So this bit is just getting the plants out of their pots and trying not to muddle the tags up. Uh, right. dying to see what these silly little things down here are. See they're actually, oh that moss smells, that media smells, so that's breaking down. Smell of mushrooms. Well that's a lot of dead roots basically, not very good at all, but Yeah, nothing much in the pot basically. I've now got to decide how many parts I've got here. I think I've got two. Yeah, there's two plants there. So that's a good start. <laughs> Quite honestly, that's not bad for mounting purposes. What have we got in these sheaths? We've got some scale lurking. Not on this one. This one seems quite clean down at the base. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this lot. I mean, that pushed up a, you can probably see there, a pseudo bulb with a crinkly leaf. And then it pushed up a growth out the side that didn't grow. And then it pushed up a new growth down here and a new growth right up there alongside this bit that didn't make it. So that, that's a funny bit of plant there. But um, these two little growths down the bottom, are they separate? Yeah, they are. Well, there's no reason to not include them on the mount. If they die, they die. There's a sign of a new growth in the middle there. That could even be a different type of plant, I don't know. But we'll keep it, it can still be mounted. So I can clean that up. Um, as far as a mount is concerned, the fact that it's going to climb up the mount, that pseudo bulb's got leaves on, so it can still photosynthesize. That one hasn't. But nonetheless, this is a small, weak section that bulb could still be useful, so I'll keep it. So that's that one, or that bit. This looks like the stronger part of the plant, quite honestly. Um, this one isn't quite such a bad looking piece. And, um, ah, and hiding down in that sheath, we have a new growth. This are good. So, uh, and that particular growth does actually have some new roots showing. So, uh, any scale. I'm obsessed with getting old sheaths off since I had the, the scale badly. I mean, they actually took out two of my telumnias by getting in there, not responding to spraying because the spray can't get down in there. And because systemics don't travel downwards, they travel up through the plant. So you can never get the systemic down into the pseudo bulbs. It doesn't work like that. But that's a reasonable piece. It's not exactly got a good root system, but there's a couple there that are viable. So that will get mounted as two pieces and a tiny little piece. So that's that one with its tag. Stay. Right, next one. Now this is not a bad little plant. Um, apart from the fact the new growth is in the air and hasn't yet produced any new growths. So let's see what we got in here. Not a lot with the looks of it. Do you know, I think these plants have just been kept too dry. Well, putting them on a mount's gonna sort that out. I mean, there are some viable roots in amongst this lot. There's some dead ones too, and quite a lot of those. But again, plants recover pretty well on mounted. Um, yeah, well, those, those roots aren't dead, they're dry. There's a difference. These ones are around the back here. Um, but some of these around this side are actually viable. They just need hydrating. And the old, yeah, that's a bit niffy too. That's actually quite a nice little plant. That will pull on nicely on a mount. Um, it'll hydrate those dry roots. I think I've just been keeping this too dry. I've been worried to death that I'm over watering them in the winter when they're not growing much. So they've been kept quite dry. But that, that's got 
these are dead, these long ones, but these are okay. So that's got a root system. And it's got support. It's got a nice big bulb here, another one here with some leaves on, a follow-on one here, still got its leaves, and a new growth. So that will, uh, that will pull on. No worries about that one. Will you come off? And you too. No, no lurking. And no scale on that one either. Mm -hmm. Definitely winning. Where's the tag? Let's put that one with his tag. Happy with that. And this is for medicinal purposes. Genuinely, I've got a sore throat. And um, it's too late in the day for coffee. Oh, that's nice. Oh, not. That's a bottle I opened a while. <laughs> while ago. You shouldn't really keep red wine, it doesn't keep very well. Let's have a look at this little thing. This is the first time this has been out of its pot. What's it in? A sort of bark and perlite. Got that from the Orchid Society, so... Uh... I've got a feeling I want it in the raffle, come to think of it. But I know this one's got some scale lurking down the base here. I just know. I saw them earlier. Yeah, there's a few. What about in there? I don't want to lose that leaf. Yeah, there's a couple in there. But the old uh, hydrogen peroxide will um, make them cease to be. I've got to go really careful because this new growth, this growth is delicate. But what have we got in the way of roots? We have some. That was better than the none I predicted. It's been in there a long time and it's such a tiny little plant. Well, it can have a tiny little mount to go. See, whoever potted that buried two pseudo bulbs. I've never seen them because they were buried. It's not a good idea. So they can come straight off. Oops. And most of the roots were attached to that tiny little old bulb. There's still some signs of new growth. And on a mount it will pull on. There's not much left, but like there's a new root in there, but it's attached. So that bit of media will have to stay there. We've got too few roots to lose any more. As I said, those were all attached to that dead bit. So they weren't doing a lot, really, despite looking okay. Yeah, that one needs trimming back a bit. So that's that one. That's Miltonia Venus. What have we got here? This is naturally going to go into two plants, I'm pretty sure. This is the one I watered, so this is going to be soggy. As I say, I hadn't planned on doing any of this sort of thing today, but um, needs must. And this part of the plant has a good root system, so what the rest of the plant is like, which is dead, doesn't matter that much because it has got new roots. What I'm concerned about is around the back here, is what have we got? Well, I'm going to separate that there because that's got to be done. Come on, it's the roots holding it together, not the rhizome. There we go. Now that, I think, is a reasonable back bulb division. I don't see any eyes on it, but it's strong. You know, it, it's got a good strong pseudobulb and another one. So I'm going to give that a go at um, trying to rejuvenate that bit. Some of those roots are viable there too. So even though they're on an old bit of the plant, what's happened there is the, that pseudobulb had some roots and as this started to grow, it pushed out some more. So it's got some roots, you can live with that. Yeah, some, some of these have gone. But some round here aren't so bad. So we've got some roots there, that's one bit. And then this bit, what have we got here then? That bulb needs to come off, otherwise it will just get buried. But then it's gonna get mounted, isn't it? Does it matter? Well, it's wobbling, so it's not going to serve much of a purpose, is it? Not if it's wobbling. What have we got left now? What we've got left now is... 
I should get my scissors really, this is very naughty of me tearing at stuff. But uh, See there's remnants of scale there, you can probably see those. But they just rub off, so they're dead scale, they are X scale, they have ceased to be. Careful with the new roots Roger, tearing at your sheaths, I know you don't like them, but we do need the roots. That's nifty as well. They've just been in that media too long. Right, there we go. Now, as a mount, um, that will do quite well because that will go back against the mount like that, leaving the new growth to push forward. But there's plenty of good roots on this piece, so that will take quite nicely. And I'll decide whether I'm going to put the other piece on the mount or stick it in a pot. But we've got some good roots there. Give that a clean up, that will do quite well. Keep it with the tag. Okay, so no, not worth keeping. Okay, so that's got them out of their pots. Um, I'll cut that off there. Um, you know, I'm going to mount them, um, so that's going to happen. It'll look exactly the same as the other mounts. You know, here's a mount, put some moss on, tie it on one mount. It's not worth filming and I need to move on quickly or I'm going to lose my light. It's getting on in the afternoon now. So um, yeah, um, not so pleased with this one, but it is a miniature. It has still got some root, root, <laughs> possibly two, and on a mount it should pull on. The others have got some viable roots. I'll clean the old roots off and everything and then I'll get them mounted up. And I'll come back when I've done them so that you can see what I decided and how I've done them. But I'm not actually going to film the mounts. It just slows me down too much. <laughs> and that person who wants to see my knots, you'll have to see them another time. <laughs> Look them up on the internet. How to tie knots. Find a Boy Scout video or something. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Here we go again. That's a bit sad, but in this case, because it's going to go on a mount, I'm actually looking at quite a vigorous little plant here, and I'm going to still keep that. I know it's got Fusarium, there's no doubt about that, you know, distinct purple ring. I'll put some cinnamon on that to seal it, and I will spray it with my um, fungicide, which should kill any that is in the plant, what it can't do is get at the rhizome part. It can grow out of that. As I said, this is quite a serious thing. I treat it somewhere in between serious and lightly. Yeah, I don't panic. And I'm not going to dump that plant just because it's got it. I'll make a note to make sure that gets watered separately. But I think it's got enough vigour. There is no sign of a problem with that new growth. There isn't any problem with the plant. It's got good, healthy pseudo bulbs. Maybe that was in the older part of the plant. Maybe it's crept along that rhizome a bit. But if, if it hasn't actually got up into this front part of the plant yet, and I give it a spray with the fungicide and kill what's there, that stops it spreading anymore if you see what I mean. And it's quite likely to just grow out of it and grow through it. And then one day at some point in the future it can be cut a bit further along perhaps. But I'm not going to dump that. It's too good a plant. But what we will do is, uh, soggy finger, is put some cinnamon on that now. Just help dry that off while I remember. Otherwise I'll forget. And I'm going to carry on and mount that. I'm not dumping it. I know everybody's probably going to disagree, but tough. It's my grow room, they're my plants. I'll do as I choose. Yes, there's a risk, but it's my risk. As I said, I think that plant's strong enough to go through it. Now, that's one of the plants came from Portugal. Chances are they've all got it. They all came together. They were all in the same box. They were all living together, probably out in Portugal. So I'll check the others and see how I go. I didn't see any signs of it before, but that's just because I cut the old bulb off. Otherwise I wouldn't have seen that either. And then I'd have been oblivious and carried on as normal, wouldn't I? Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do with that one. It's around, It's we gotta live with it. Yeah, this one too. There's no point in trying to do a back bulb division on something that has no roots and has that. No point at all. 
this little bit I was going to keep that back bulb but again you can see the uh, purple circle there at least I presume you can I'll brighten it up but what I am going to do initially is I'm just going to cut further down the rhizome and see how far it goes up as you can see it's just round that bit not round that bit so it hasn't traveled properly fully up the plant yet so I'll have a go at saving that bit again I can spray the plant this new growth is a long way away from that little bit of purple in fusarium terms it travels pretty slowly um, so this may grow through it now the chances are all three of these plants came with this this isn't me they came with it and they've been struggling ever since that might explain why they haven't been growing very well rather than me thinking it was a change of climate anyway I'm gonna keep that bit these all three of these plants I haven't checked that one yet I'll get to that one in a minute but yeah that's not fully infected yet it's just round that edge and as a consequence it may grow through there's not much there now there's one single pseudo bulb and a new growth and some healthy roots I'll see what I can do I really think again this one may or may not pull through the other one I'm pretty sure will this one may or may not but we'll give it a go well that was a bit depressing to say the least um, that's the little um, Miltonia Venus nice little tag on the back and there's too little to cut off to see if there's a problem with that but that came from an entirely different place that came from the Bournemouth Orchid Society so I'm sort of trusting that can't do much else can I <laughs> so that's that little one well out of the way of that lot and this one is the Miltonia Queen Anne and it's a strong plant it has a good strong new growth it has a good root system and having cut the rhizome up near that base yes it's still got a bit of an infection but it's not um, not like that not a bright purple ring that's got a hold yeah so that one I'm gonna give a chance I'll have to water it separately and make sure it doesn't touch anything else um, for a while we'll see how it goes but I'll spray it with the fungicide and um, I'm gonna give it a chance <coughs> and this other one um, I've cut right up to the base of there and again there are signs but not rampant it's there but maybe the plant can fight through through its new growth on the grounds that I can stop it spreading now I have a theory that some um, castanier um, I have a theory um, systemics travel up the plant yeah so if I can get some systemic it's a bear my mouth won't work systemic into that stem then it will push up into the leaves but the leaves will get sprayed anyway I'm gonna try a new theory which you can't normally do because your plants in a pot I'm actually gonna absolutely soak the roots in the fungicide as well and as they were a bit dry they are now hydrated and are in the process of pushing up through the plant now they've got some hydration and my idea is to take that fungicide with it that gets it up into the rhizome on its way up to the plant and the leaves so what do you think you think that'll work I see no reason why it shouldn't work quite honestly a, a systemic travels through the plant in an upwards direction so if you start at the roots take it up through the rhizome it should knock it on the head okay so that's the three unfortunately the other one I've tried trimming this one in several places and because it's so weak and it's in parts and I can see a bright purple ring on every part of that plant bright I mean you know well well showing so that one I'm not risking that one was a weak plant it was never growing okay and I believe that that stuff 
came with those three plants. Hopefully I've self-contained it. You know I share water, so in theory I may have spread it to every single plant. But if I'd sprayed it to every, uh, spread it to every single plant, a lot more would be going downhill and they're not. You know, this, yes it can spread, but there are plants that are resistant and if they're growing well, they can just push through it. So um, again, I'm not going to panic, but I am going to have a little sulk because I liked those Miltonias and um, compared with some other plants, I paid a little bit for them, plus the, you know, postage charge from Portugal. They weren't expensive, but quite honestly, I've never seen them for sale anywhere else, so they're along the lines of irreplaceable. But I'm going to try and save two of them, the little miniatures been stuff, and I've been put off my stroke, so the couple of repotting actual pots that I was going to do, it's a case of sod it. <laughs> They're going to wait till tomorrow. I'm going to go and um, lick my wounds, as a cat would do, and um, contemplate the world and why somebody thought it was a good idea that we need funguses like that to kill our orchids. You know, when somebody decided we'll have some of them, we'll have some tigers, we'll have some of these, we'll have some plants, and we'll have some water, and we'll have some people, who then decided it was a good idea that we'll have some fusarium as well? That's not on the list of good ideas. <laughs> and it could do with coming off the list, but we're stuck with it. We've got to live with it. <clears throat> In theory, I should dump the lot, shouldn't I? You know it makes sense. But I'm going to give them a chance. I'm going to give them a chance to grow through it. We'll see how we get on. But I will have to keep them separate, that's definite. Okay, see you next time. Sorry that, you know, I know it's a miserable subject, but, you know, others come across it. We all do. It's, it's just there, whether you flipping like it or not. And um, you can choose to ignore it if you... If you choose to do that, fine. Some of your plants will go down and maybe you'll spread it to a, an odd one next door or something like that. Um, I've never known anybody lose a whole collection through this stuff. There's lots of plants that are virtually immune. The ones that are most susceptible are rhizome type plants that are relatively slow growers and you don't notice it. It gets in there. Things like um, Mazda Valias, I'm not going to personally say they're immune, but I've never known anybody get that in a Mazda Valia. They haven't got rhizomes. And they're quite fast growers when they're growing well. Things like um, Maxillarias, I've never known them get it. But Cattleyas can, Vandas can, and anything that has rhizomes, basically. The others don't seem to get it. And some plants, even with rhizomes, just don't seem to get it. So it's potluck. You buy your plants, eBay, orchid nurseries, they're not immune. This came from a nursery in Portugal, these three plants. And I believe they came with it. I don't believe I gave it to them. I think they came with it. Horrible subject. I hate it. I don't like talking about it. But it's there, whether we like it or not. Same as aphids are there. Hi, Danny. <laughs> See me latest vid. You know, scale are there, mealy bugs are there, you know, thrips, dread the thought of those little tykes, because they're hard to kill. But you know, we've got all these things, and um, at some point or another, you're highly likely to get one, some, or even all of them. And you've just got to deal with it the way you see fit. My way today was to try and save a couple and discard one because it was too far gone basically. So that's today done and maybe tomorrow will be a cheerier day. We'll see how it goes. Good days, bad days, we all have them. And this was not a good day for me. I've had better. <coughs> I hope I don't get worse, but you never know. That's life. See you again next time. Bye for now.